The exterior walls in a building are normally exposed to aeroplane wind pressure in addition to the gravity loads. Normally the walls are solid so they span vertically between floors, but also in some areas it's frequent to find uh, openings for doors or windows. These areas need to be carefully designed, particularly when the openings are large. But how do you design the opening area? How do you reinforce the opening? And how do you design the reinforcing members? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design from scratch a wall opening using as deep concrete. Let's get started. In this example, we have an opening which is 12 feet wide by 8 feet high, and it's exposed to the following uh, loads. It's a dead load, one key per foot gravity load coming from the roof, live load, one key per foot, and also an aeroplane wind pressure of 40 PSF. So the goal is to reinforce the opening and design the reinforcing members. Let's get started. When you open as deep concrete, you see the project manager where you can see the modules included in the software. It's a concrete column, concrete beam, or a concrete or masonry bearing wall. In this case, we're gonna design a wall opening, so we will create a calculation of a bearing wall. Say example. And the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on the tree. And this is the template for a typical calculation of a bearing wall in as deep concrete. In this case, we're gonna design a masonry wall, so we change the material to masonry. We use a eight inches wall thickness. It's a one story. The floor to floor distance is 16 feet in this example. And we have a parapet of three feet. So this is the geometry of the wall. Graphically, we can see the wall here. 16 feet from supports, then three feet of parapet and then the roof members are transferring the load to the wall. We go to the Loads tab to enter the information that we know. From the statement of the problem, we know that the dead load is one key per foot and the live load is one key per foot as well. Win is 40 PSF. Let's enter all this information in the software. The dead load is one key per foot, uniform, Roof life is also one key per foot. And we have a wind pressure of 40 PSF on the wall. And on the parapet, let's say that it, we have 60 PSF. The uniform load eccentricity should be about six inches because the joists or the roof members are supported you know, with, a, with a hunch. So let's say that is six inches eccentricity for the uniform uh, gravity load. So we have all the load center already. We go to the openings uh, tab. And this is the canvas where we can uh, define and model the opening. To model the opening, we click and drag on the canvas. And we have created an opening. To correct the size, we know that the size of the openings is 144 by 96. So, 144 by 96. Let's center this opening this way. Okay, we have created the opening that is 12 feet wide and 8 feet high. We're going to need a member at the top, a lintel, to support all this weight, the cell weight of the wall above the opening, in addition to the reaction from the roof. So we need a member. We just click on, on this line and we have created a member, this red line. In this table, we can see the member that we are creating. We have created a lintel, number one. In addition to the gravity load, this lintel will be exposed to outer plane pressure or the tributary area due to the window and due to the wall above. We're gonna need also a seal at the bottom of the opening. This uh, member will be exposed to lateral load as well due to the tributary area for the window and also for the wall below. These two members need to frame into a jump at the left and a jump 
at the right. These two vertical members will transfer the loads to the diaphragms at the top and bottom of the opening. So we have created four members, a lintel, a seal, and two jams. And these are defined in these tables. We have a lintel, the number one, we have a seal, the number two, and we have two jams, jam number one, jam number two. As the concrete lets you define the type of uh, pressure distribution on, in the opening, the type one, the pressure is distributed directly to the jams, so one half of the opening is transferred to the jam to the left, and one half of the opening is transferred to the jam to the right. If we select the type two, the pressure in the opening is transferred to the lintel at the top and to the seal at the bottom, top and bottom. And we have the type three, which is a four-way distribution. In this example, we're gonna select a type two. So a portion of the pressure in the window is going to the lintel and a portion is going to the seal, which in turn will transfer the load to the jams. If we go to the condensed tab, at the bottom, there's a section that shows you the calculations for the reinforcing members. For example, for the lintel design, we can see here that the moment for the gravity load is 66.9 kip feet, but the capacity is only 23.5. So we need to increase the capacity substantially for this member to pass. So right now, the concrete lintel is eight inches thick and 16 inches high. Let's increase that to 24, so 8 by 24 inches. So the capacity increased substantially, but not enough. So we need to add more rebars probably. Instead of two number four each side, let's say three, say number five. So with three rebars, number five each side, the capacity is 58 versus 67. So we need more capacity. Let's uh, use rebars number six. So with three rebars number six each side, the capacity is 81 versus 67. So the gravity is passing. Laterally, the capacity is 29 versus the moment, which is 4.5. So plenty of capacity in lateral. So with this configuration, eight by 24 and reinforced with three number six each side, the capacity of the lintel is uh, good enough for gravity and for lateral. We have defined two jams. They can be masonry or they can, can be concrete. For masonry wall, typically the jams are made of masonry as well. So some of the cells at the end of the wall are uh, especially reinforced. In this case, we are using two cells reinforced with number fours. And we can see here that the capacity is not enough. So we need to increase the size to number fives. Now the capacity is okay. To be consistent with the, with the sizes of the uh, lintel, we're gonna use number sixes. So we have more lateral capacity now for the jams. In summary, as the concrete lets you model the opening in a wall graphically, and then you can define also the reinforcing members, a lintel, a seal, and two jams. The program immediately shows these tables with the uh, geometry and reinforcing of the members, and you can see the calculations in the condensed tab. When you change something in the tables, you see immediately the change reflected in the calculations as well. If you go to the detail tab, scroll down to the bottom, there's a section that says opening design, which all the calculations are shown step by step with exposed formulas and also references to the ACI code. As you can see, it's very easy to design wall openings in as deep concrete. The design is straightforward, which otherwise would be time consuming if you do it by hand. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you very much for your attention.